To get started, I just added a video along with an image above it onto my timeline. Let's begin by moving the image to where we want it to first appear in the video. Then make sure your image is selected and go over to the Controls tab. Open up the Transform settings. Click on the Display Timeline button so that you can see a mini version of your timeline. Drag the edge of the Controls panel so that you can see the little circles next to the settings. And I'm also going to use a slider down here to zoom in on my timeline. Press the Page Up or Page Down key on your keyboard to move the time edge to the start of your image which is represented as this blue area. Click the circle next to position to create a starting keyframe for the animation. Drag the position's left or right value to move the image to where you'd like to start the animation at. I'm going to move mine just off screen. Then move the time edge to where you'd like your animation to be finished by. Drag the position's left or right value until your image is where you want it to be moved to. This will automatically create a second keyframe. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking movement animation. If you want to smooth out the animation, drag to select the keyframes on the timeline. Right click one of them and hover over Temporal Interpolation. Select Smooth. Alright, now my animation looks smoother. Okay, and that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.